We're going to call the order to approve City Council meeting January 6th, 2020. If everyone would please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. It's going to be led by Councilman Steve Anderson. Then remain standing for the invitation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Father, we thank you for this new year and this new city council, our new mayor and administration. We pray that you would fill their hearts with wisdom, not just in this meeting, but as they go forward and lead our city, that you would give them understanding and wisdom to lead this city into a, a great time of prosperity. Bless our economic system, our, our jobs, our churches, our schools. We just pray that this would be a time that you would bless and pour out your favor upon this city. We thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Roll call of officers. Russell? Here. Ramsey? Yes. Wilco? Here. Gaston? Here. Wolf? Sahai Dachini? Here. Anderson? Here. At this time, the council needs to select a chairman. So I open the meeting for nominations at this time. I'd like to nominate Tom Augustine as chairman. A second. Motion's been made. I second. By Kathy and seconded by Patricia for selection of Tom Augustine. Any other nominations? Seeing none, I move that the uh, nominations will be closed. Mr. Gustin, will you accept the nomination of the president? Yes. With that being said, I ask for a vote at this time. Russell? Yes. Randy? Yes. Bobo? Yes. Gus? Yes. You can vote for yourself. Sahai Dashini? Yes. Anderson? Yes. All right, nomination been made and carried. Welcome, Mr. President, uh, to the City Council. We need a vice chair. <laughs> Let's open the nominations for a vice chairman. Jake been requested that a vice chairman position be open for nominations. I'd like to nominate Steve Anderson. I'd like to nominate Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say his last name? Sky Dutchney. I'll work with you on this. <laughs> Susan did a good job pronouncing it. Motion's been made by um. <laughs> Kathleen that uh, Steve Anderson be made the second vice chairman. Also, another nomination has been Pete, and I'm not going to try to even pronounce your last name. So how did that name? You, you get, the, you get used to it after you hear it. Are there any other nominations for vice chair? I need mean, the nomination to be closed. Sorry, I didn't. Nominations are closed. At this time, we'll take uh, a vote. Do you, Mr. Chairman, how do you want to handle the vote? Um, I suppose we need to ask raise each hands. person who to vote. Can we raise Steve? hands? Yes. All in favor of Steve Anderson, raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> By my count, oh, Steve, that's I good. Four. <laughs> um, Steve Anderson has been selected vice chairman of the uh, city council. I guess we never asked you if you wanted it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm taking it. <laughs> Thank you. You do want that, correct? Sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, at this time, next order of business is the reading and correction of the journal. I move we suspend the rules and dispense with the reading of the minutes. Do we have a second? I okay. second. I'm so I think. <laughs> Tom Gaston made a motion that we suspend 
Drills and Readings and Correction of the Journal, seconded by Stephen Peter Sahidashi. Sahidashi. <laughs> okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Communications, we have none. Unfinished business, we have none. Under new business, the Common Council liaison appointment, and at that time I'm going to turn it over to you. Is everybody satisfied with your appointments? Yes. Yeah. Are I you? Just to my it's up to you to find out when they uh, yeah, find out who the chairman is, uh, and in some cases, on the historical part of it, you may be it. Uh, really? Yes. <laughs> uh, so if you are satisfied, would you say aye, please? Aye. 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 Okay, passed. I beg your pardon. Would you want uh, to read those? Right just, just. I think it's necessary. I, I, I have a copy for the mayor, and I have a copy for the uh, clerk. If you pass those down, please. Okay, just for the record, would you go ahead and... Video? Oh, for the video? Mm -hmm. yeah, would you go ahead and state what the appointees are and who they are? I passed it to you. Pass it back. All right, here it goes. This is fun, right? All right. Then we'll have everyone watching at a later date. All right. Um, Steve Anderson will be the liaison for the Police Department, Ordinance Review Board, Fire Department, Utility Service Board. Um, Dustin, and um, I remember we had three folks on that when when you and I were the ordinance that. review. Yes. Yes. So we need to, Steve. You'll probably have to speak with Dustin about that. Sure. And, and, and it'll be whenever he says <laughs> when you're available. Um, I'll be doing solid waste tax abatement 911, which by the way meets Wednesday at eight at uh, ten o'clock at the sheriff's department. Uh, let's see here. City officials and wage negotiation board. Kathleen will be responsible for tax abatement review board, Grant planning commission, utility service board, and future growth board. Uh, Mark Ramsey will be responsible for park board, animal control, county government, street department. Uh, Pat Russell will be responsible, along with me, with the 9-11 Central Dispatch, Aviation Board, Historic Preservation, and Ordnance Review Board. Peter, I had a high about you. I had a high about you. You're going to give an 85% rating on that. But that's okay. you got a B in music. Okay. Pete <laughs> uh, will be doing Civic Center, Cable Commission, County Government, Future Growth Board, and Historic Preservation. And Betsy, who's stuck in the airport, will be doing Board of Works, Tax Abatement Review Board, Cable Commission, and Ordinance Review Board. And that's the list that we have. Thank you. Next order of business will be Dave Moon and Glenn Russell request to be reappointed to the Cable Committee for 2020. I move we accept those two fellows. They've done an excellent job over the years. A second. Motion's been made and seconded, and I have heard nothing but good about both of you. Uh, no, David, no. do you want to address the audience with anything? Not particularly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that being said, motion been made and seconded. All in favor, signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you. Next order of business is Sandra Fouts of the Pre-Planning Commission request a representative be assigned to the Pre-Planning Commission. Uh, Sandy, do you want to speak? Uh, I think it's already been done. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they just took care of that. Okay. Cool. Moving right along, next order. Wait, you want to talk about it in there? Pardon? I'd like to nominate Debbie C for that position, please. Is this for a voting member or? Yes, it's a liaison from the council to our uh, oh. plan commission, and it is a voting member. 
That's you. Okay, so she didn't realize that you guys did that. She thought she had to request it from being on. Oh, okay. I beg your okay. pardon. Okay. Mistake. Okay. So sorry, Sandy. <laughs> Okay. I have a question then. Yes. So you were asking for the council representative to be? For the council to, okay. to All right. sign one, Thank you. which you guys have already taken care of. It is I. <laughs> and you. It is I. Sandy, you said that is a voting member? I'm sorry? You said that is a voting member? Yes. Okay. Okay. So we don't need to nominate NEC? <laughs> Oh, they have to be a member of the city council. Thank you, Joe. That being cleared up, <laughs> we will move on to resolution number one, 2020. Resolution number one 2020, a resolution of the Common Council of the City of Peru establishing the amount of salary for the mayor, clerk treasurer, and utility service board members during the 2020 calendar year. I move we uh, consider resolution number one. Second. Resolution number one has been considered and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Should we uh, adopt also? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. I move we adopt resolution number one. Second. All in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Moving right along, it's been a quick meeting. We're up for adjournment. Right. I move we adjourn. Yeah. All in favor? Yeah. Yeah. I, I beg your pardon? That's a public, yeah. public comment. Public comment. Yeah. Come on up here to the... Passed right by the public comment. Well, we're in marble now. Well, there's Jim. Well, oh, so much for the quick meeting. This won't take long. I appreciate it. Well, the one thing that I wanted to bring to the council's attention in your appointments, I know you appointed the tax abatement review committee, and we look forward to working with the three of you on the incentives and the annual review. But one thing that we do need for the council to consider is if you remember late last year we uh, through the council's passing of a resolution created an economic development commission and the purpose of that economic development commission was to be kind of a separate review uh, entity that looked at financing projects through tax incremental financing and we came to uh, the council last year in other words uh, as, as an example, my board would make a recommendation on the use of TIF to help support a project. It would come before the Economic Development Commission for the city, which is made up of an appointment by the mayor, an appointment by the city council, and then the county also has an appointment. And that three-member board was previously... Um, Lane Holland, Joe... Joe. Joe was the mayor's representative. You had Blaine Holland was the city council representative, and then Sandy Chittum, Chittum was the county representative. And so they met, held a public meeting before the council meeting, and then they presented their recommendations and findings to the council on whether or not there was appropriate use of TIF funds. Can I volunteer? Yes, sir. I I'm just asking if the council would consider that additional appointment because it looks like we are going to have a project coming up soon that we probably I volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. To, you're going to get the approval here. But, and I'm, I don't show up. I think you can sign it either, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Any other comments? Thank you. Can we just put it in the minutes? Uh, <laughs> Tom uh, volunteers. Yes. Tom volunteers. <laughs> well, don't we have to make that legal? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. First motion, but first take that. So motion that uh, Tom be assigned to the Economic Development Commission? The motion has been made by Kathleen. 
Second. Second by Patty for Tom Guston to be the liaison. All in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? We'll figure this out. I move we adjourn. <laughs> one, one other thing, is there anything, any other comments from the audience tonight? <laughs> Seeing none, we're up for adjournment. I second that. Second. All in favor? Favor. Aye. Aye.